Hello Hokies, welcome to Virtual Fan Day 1.0 from the Beamer Lawson facility here at Virginia Tech. I'm John Laser. What a panel we have, including Rayshard Ashby, James Mitchell all the way over there, and in the middle head coach Justin Fuente. Since we are appropriately socially distanced, guys, we can probably go ahead. Although, Foo, your mask is exceptional, but we're going to take Thank those you. down just for this, all right? All right. All right, so we'll de-mask. It's the world we're living in, Hokies, right now, and we're going to get rolling right now. All right, Foo, let's start with this one. It comes from nine-year-old Sam in Dublin, Virginia. He wants to know, Coach Fuente, what's the best part of being the head coach here at Virginia Tech? Sam, I'd have to say this. Like, the, the, I think the, the coolest part about, about my job de deals with our players. Obviously, when you're a head coach, you have 120 players as opposed to when you're a position coach. You may only have five or ten, but I get to do a bunch of different things, and I, I do think that's when you know when you get involved in fundraising, you you get involved with 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 coaching the football team, you get a little involved with the off-season program, recruiting. Obviously, I think the thing that I like is it's always fresh and new. Like you, when you get about tired of something, you get to do something else. I think that's uh, a really cool part of of our job. The most rewarding part of it is seeing your kids have success. You know, we see behind the scenes the work these kids put in. And it's a pretty cool feeling when you get to see them, that work pay off, whether it's in the classroom or on the field or in the community, and see them get recognized or get to have success uh, based on the hard work they put in. All right, we'll follow that up with James and Rook, also from Sam. Guys, what's your favorite part about playing football here at VT? And we'll start with James. I would say probably just, uh, again, to interact with all the different fans. Uh, we have a great atmosphere, a great fan base. So, uh, you know, just seeing all the fans out there on Saturdays, it's a pretty cool experience and one that I've always seen growing up, so it's pretty cool. Walking out there through the tunnel and just seeing the fans and being with my brothers and just the atmosphere, seeing how lively Blacksburg comes together is just a family. All right, we're off and running. Now we get into some uh, non-football specific questions for you guys. For all three of you, if you were stranded on a desert island and you could pick one of your teammates or coaches to be stranded with you, and why? Man, what a trap question. <laughs> um, I don't know, like somebody that, like in my first thought is somebody that like, can get us off the desert island. It's like really handy. Um, I think Jay Ham's pretty handy. Maybe with that crooked pinky of his, it's straightened out now. He could help us fashion some sort of boat to get off the <laughs> island. That's my answer. Uh, I'm gonna go with Coach Ham. Uh, Coach Ham's very wise, and us guys from the 276, we gotta stick together. So <laughs> I'm gonna go with Coach Ham. <laughs> that works. I'm gonna go with Coach Clays just because Coach Clays is smart. Like he, he's really smart, and I feel like he'll figure out a way how to get us off there quick as possible. Guys, we know Coach Fu has some pro wrestling background in his family tree. <laughs> if you could set up the ultimate cage match between two of your teammates, who would you pit against each other, and who would win? And I know you guys have thought about this. This time we'll go backwards, Rook. I'm going. I'm going Fuga and Brock. See, he didn't have to think about that. I'm going Fuga and Brock. I got, I got Fuga winning. Fuga crazy. Rock crazy too, but I got Fuga winning. There's a lot of uh, size in that matchup. Yeah, yeah. You got Fuga winning? Yeah, I got Fuga winning. <laughs> James? Uh, I'm going to go Taiwan Garbit and uh, Devin Hunter. Because, uh, you know, I don't know who I got winning. I think I got, I feel like Devin knows a little more of the pro wrestling moves. I'll be seeing him in the <laughs> locker room. He knows all the little dances, all, all the moves. So I'm going to go Devin. First of all, Dax is a professional wrestler character. Yes. In himself. Like, I really believe he has a future in professional wrestling because he loves the attention and the stage and the, the drama behind it. Like, I think he's got a chance to go actually do that <laughs> whenever he's done. I don't know if his mom and dad agree with that, but that's kind of my thought on that. Vance, you know, and Daryl, you know, Daryl's Daryl's got him with some youth there. You know, it probably needs to be Coach Vice 10 years ago versus Daryl now, probably to make it fair. But um, I think that would be entertaining. Like I see what Daryl wears to work out <laughs> and I can only imagine that his, um, his outfit would be pretty cool, you know, and his kind of stage persona would be good. 
We all know what Vice's stage persona would be. It would be the caveman with the club over his shoulder, you know, walking into the ring. Elon Musk just called, guys. He's got two tickets to ride on his spaceship. You're the passenger, but you can pick one of your teammates to pilot the ship. Who are you trusting to get you to the moon? James? I'm going to go with, can I go with two? Like. Yeah, oh yeah. I'm going to go with uh, either Dean Ferguson or Quincy Patterson just because they, well, Dean is an engineering major and Quincy used to be, so I feel like they got the best shot. See, that's a very analytical answer, James. That, that's, that's good. Brooke? I'm going to go with uh, Alex Rosa. He's very smart, super smart, so I feel like he'll get us there. Foo, same opportunity, but you either have to pick one of your daughters or a member of your staff. Who's your pilot? Well, I'm not picking. First of all, I'm going to pass on the trip. Okay. Okay. I'm going to stay right here on Earth. But if I have to go, I, I love my girls, but I'm not picking them to pilot a rocket ship into space for obvious reasons. So a member of my staff to pilot the, the rocket ship into space. Um, wow. I hadn't thought about that before. Um, <laughs> That's not what you're spending your time on. No, um, I'm not, you know, I'm, I'm going to have to, I'm going to have to probably, I'm going to have to probably take Tracy Clays. I mean, this guy is, uh, I don't know if he knows anything about tr rocket ship trips to the moon, but I think if there's anybody on our staff that might, it would be Tracy. They could figure it out. Boo, back to you. Who is the one musical artist that fans would be surprised you listen to? I mean, I don't know if this counts, but I would say that I absolutely love the soundtrack to Hamilton, um, which is kind of like a hip hop version of American history of Alexander Hamilton. Like I, the play is fantastic and we listen to the music at the house all the time. I think it's awesome. Uh, I'm gonna go with Luke Combs. Okay. A little country music country every now guy. and then. That, see, that doesn't surprise me about you, but it might well, surprise the people. It might surprise a few people, but <laughs> I don't know. I listen to, to uh, Erica Badu a lot, so that might surprise people. All right. Mine, just in case anyone was wondering, would be pink, but uh, don't share that with anyone. All right, guys. The engineering department at Virginia Tech has developed a time machine, and they've asked you to take a test flight back in time. What time period are you visiting, and who would you take with you? This is so awesome. We just played this game with my girls the other day. Did you watch Back to the Future? No, well? I just was like, all right, what time period are we going to? We're going to go see the dinosaurs. We're going to go see. It was pretty cool to see the three girls different answers. They didn't actually ask me, Dad, what's your answer? So I didn't have a chance to, to tell them. But um, I mean, if I was honestly just picking, I mean, I would, I would go back to to see Jesus, you know, and uh, so over 2,000 years ago to go, to go, to go see, um, obviously the events that transpired there, but, um, you know, that'd be my, my first pick. I don't know who, I'd take my wife with me. All right. <clears throat> I think I'll go back to the 70s. I don't know, it just seemed like such a fun time. <laughs> just so yeah, you can wear that. Afro, cool. yeah, I think, I'm gonna think I'm gonna take my twin, Deshaun Crawford with me just because it would be funny. I don't know. I'll probably go back to like the late 80s, early 90s because uh, I'm a big New Edition fan. And yeah. That was when they were prominent. <laughs> and I would love to see them live when they were young. They still do those concerts, those reunion concerts, but that's not the same thing. So I would like to see them in their prime. Uh, but I'll probably take, I guess, my sisters with me. All right, guys. You're taking the team on a field trip to your hometown. What's the one place they have to visit? Where are you taking them to eat? And what's the best thing on the menu? Oh, geez. Right back to James. <laughs> well, where, where am I taking them? Yeah, Where's where the one they place have I'm... to see. Oh, man. Tell the That's fans where your hometown is, too, by the way. Big Stone Gap, Virginia, the one and only. Uh, one place I take them, ah. I mean, there's not many places to go. <laughs> <laughs> Second stoplight. Uh, we got this little thing called like the Overlook. I mean, it's got a nice little scenery. That's about it. Uh, one place to eat. We got this new restaurant called Kirkland's. Pretty good. They got this thing called T-Flan Nachos. 
their prime time. So I guess that's one thing I would choose. Best thing on the menu, I guess. I'm from Richmond, Virginia. I think I'd take them to uh, my dad's, one of, where my dad works at, his barbershop. It's called McCormick's Barbershop. Just because it's, it's in downtown Richmond, it's hilarious there. You spend the day there. So I think you just go and just giggle, have fun, laugh. But to eat, I have to say America's Best Wings. Uh, they got some great wings there. And, like I make sure I go there every time I go home at least once, just once. Fu, uh, Tulsa, Oklahoma. We're going to eat at Coney Islander. Um, we're going to go drive by the house that I grew up in on our way to Riverside Drive. That's kind of a cool place where you can go hang out outside. Obviously, it's on the river. They got shops and top golf, and you know, it's kind of a fun, kind of a younger adult hangout place. All right, so we're going all over the map with these guys. Now, Willy Wonka style, you've got a golden ticket, and you get to attend any college or NFL game not involving Virginia Tech. What's the matchup you want to see, and what stadium is it in? Uh, for me, this is easy. I would go to see Army-Navy. Uh, I, I think they move it around, if I'm not mistaken, sometimes in Philadelphia, sometimes in New York. I don't care where it's at but I, I would love to go see everything that goes on with that game. Uh, I would probably choose Dallas, Dallas Cowboys. Uh, I don't know, the matchup really don't matter. I've never been to an NFL game, so, but that was, that's my favorite team, so that's the match I would like to see them play. Yeah, if you're going there, you might as well see Cowboys Giants, right? I mean, yeah, sure, we'll go with that. I'm, I'm gonna say Dallas too. That's, like, that's my favorite NFL team. Uh, I love their stadium, so it's definitely gonna be there. And hopefully, I want them to play the Eagles. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. interdivision, I like, I like yeah. that. My wife would like that. She would go watch that with you. All right, guys, Coach Fu calls and says, come over to the house for dinner. Here's your options for the menu, all right? Multiple choice. Number one, Coach makes something on the grill or the smoker, probably the smoker. Two, you let Dax whip something up for you. Or three, you tell Coach to order out. Now, careful here, James. I know, that's... We got to choose one? Yep. Oh, man. Dax can cook. Well, since it's his house, I'm not going to disrespect him <laughs> like that, so I'm going to go with A, first choice. You got to do that. Cecilia's gotten into the, the smoking as well. Now. Yeah? I'm going to let Coach cook, too. Hey, See where smart at. guys. You're yeah. both still starters. And you won't be disappointed. <laughs> you won't be disappointed. Boo, turn the tables. Coach is going over to these guys' house for dinner. What are you guys making for them? Or do you call Dax or do you order out? Uh, <laughs> I would ask them, what can you make? <laughs> uh, uh, what's your specialty? Um, you know, if, I mean, surely they, could, they, can, they can grill a steak or something, right? Or hamburgers or hot dogs, something like that. Last one for you guys, I'll let you get back to your season preparations. James, we'll start and we'll just come this way. Uh, what's it been like getting ready for the season and uh, how excited are you now that we're just a few weeks away? Uh, it's definitely been a unique experience, very different, something that obviously nobody's been through before. But I think as we've got further along, guys are getting more excited to be back and, you know, just work together as a team. It was a little rough starting out because there was only like 10 guys working out at once. But now I think everybody's kind of getting in the flow and, um, with the schedule being released, that only made people more excited. So I think the guys in the locker room are ready to go. Like you said, it's been definitely unique, kind of weird, but it's like the new normal. But like you said, we're getting back into the flow. So now just getting ready and getting excited to play this uh, ACC schedule. Coach, all the way back at the top, you were talking about the best part about being coach here. And you said you get to do multiple things. But I know the favorite thing is still to lead these guys on the field. How, how much are you looking forward to getting to do that again? Well, I mean, just like these two guys said, it's unprecedented times. There's no rule book for how to handle this situation. And I, I don't think it should be forgotten, like quite honestly, how difficult it is on our young people. You know, I, I see it in my own house with my much younger kids than, than these guys. But, you know, we've got young adults trying to handle all the things that come with this. And it's been hard on them. And, I've been really proud of how they've handled all the adversity. I believe it's because they care about each other, because they're anxious to play together. Um, 
and, and genuinely looking forward to hopefully getting to play a football season under the, under the best of circumstances. So um, I've been really proud this far and excited of our, of our young people, and I think it's been incredibly difficult on them. But as always, they've risen to the challenge and uh, really showed some, some fortitude and some toughness and, uh, and maybe most importantly, some care for each other that, that they'd like to go out there and, and hopefully put on a, a good product for everybody. James Mitchell, Ray Sherrod Ashby, Foo, thank you on behalf of the fans for taking part today. And best of luck this season. All right, that is this panel as part of our virtual fan day. Now we're gonna mask back up, as are you, so we can see these guys on the field this fall. Go Hokies.